We are here in the place where the sisters, Carmelite sister, Cloister sister, is living. We are, our life is the, the prayer all the days. You know, I, I think you know about a little bit about the Carmelite sister. The life is the, the prayers all the day for the people, for the church, for the whole world. And uh, behind these walls, we have 14 sisters. They are all the day, they giving their life and their prayers for the world. Maryam, Jesus asked Maryam to build this monastery here in Bethlehem. And after the end, the end of her life was here in this place. And when she died, the people of Bethlehem, they told us, the old one, that there is a, a huge light came from the, from, was from this land where we are until the sky when they when she died they saw this light and they know that she's this day they say the saint was dying mariam was was born in Ibelin. Uh, this is a village between nazareth and haifa she came after uh, 12 brothers and sisters for her all of them died and her father her parents they said they asked from the Holy Mother a, a child, and they came walking from Abilene to Bethlehem. And that day it was it's no cars, nothing. So they walk walking all the days until they came here. And after a year they have Maryam, and after the year they have her brother Bulos. Three years after that, the parents died, and Maryam and her brother were without any family. So the brother, Munoz, his aunt, she took him to Tarshiha, and uh, Maryam, her uncle, one of her uncles, he took her to live with him. We know a little bit about these things that she lived in her, in her childhood. She was a little bit special. See, when she, um, she collected, the flowers for the Holy Mother, they have a special uh, perfume that's come from heaven. And uh, many, many histories that they are talking about Maryam when she was a child. Once her uncle uh, bought a fish and she told him, don't eat from this fish. He was like, why? And uh, no, we will eat. And after that, she told him, I will eat first from it. After that, you will eat. When he, they opened the, the fish, there was a snake inside. So and once where there was a her, an hermit who lives in the desert, he came and the, the family asked him to uh, bless the children. And after that, he saw Maryam and he told them, take care of, them, of her. She will be something special. At the age of four, she was playing with her birds, and she decided to uh, give them a bath. And after that, they died. And she heard a voice inside her telling her, everything in the world will finish. But if you give me your heart, I will be for you forever. And this is what Maryam have done. She gave her, her heart to God, and from that day, she was all for God. At the age of Eight, they changed the place from Palestine. They went to uh, Alexandria on Egypt, and there uh, she, she heard about the fathers of the desert. You know, there is a lot of fathers there <coughs> in the desert, and she wanted to be like them, uh, an hermit in the desert, but it's not happened. It's impossible uh, for her. So uh, she started to live this life. And when, if we read, about San Makar, the, the great, and, Ma, and Maryam, we can see that both of them, they are talking about the Holy Spirit as a mother. Maryam always said about the Holy Spirit, he's my mother, mama. I ask from him everything. And really, he was like her mother, really. He, he gave her everything, everything. So they, started, they lived there in Egypt, and at the age of 12, 12 and a half, her un uncle wants to, to marry her, to let her marry. So he bring her a very good man to, to marry, but she refused. 
she cut her hair and she put it in a, a plaid with all the, uh, the jewelry and the, the gold and she said for them no. From here her uncle started to be very bad with her. He treated her very, uh, very, very hard and he beat her and he asked the servants to, to let her work with, the, with them and also to, to beat her very, very, very badly. From here, she, start, she started to think that her brother is in Nazareth, and she heard there is a, a servant who is Turkish, Muslim. He want to go to, Israel, to uh, Nazareth, and he, she said, I will send him a message for my brother to come to help me. When, he went, when she went there to, uh, to speak with him, she, he told her he knew about everything that her uncle is doing with her, so he, uh, he told her to, to convert and he will help her with his mother and with his uh, uh, wife. She refused. He was eating with his family. He took his knife and he killed her. When he saw what he, he did, they put her in a, in a cover and they threw her in a place where is garbage. Now this place in Alexandria is a big a cathedral for the Holy Mother, and there's the, gra the grot where, Mar where Maryam was fine killing there. She said that she, she went to heaven and she saw all her family, her father, her mother, all the, uh, the children, her, uh, her brothers and sisters, and after that she, she, saw, she saw a lot of saints, a lot of angels, but she heard someone telling her your book is not finished. You must come back at, uh, to finish your, uh, your life. So she came back and she found herself with a nun dressed by blue. And this nun was the Holy Mother. She stayed with her 40 days in this grot. Uh, each day she gave her a little, little bit of water. Of course, she saw her neck and uh, she stayed with her. And at the end, she made for her a soup. A soup, huh? yes. yes, I mix in French and a soup, and she said that it was delicious. Never she she take a soup like this, and after that, the Holy Mother she told her everything will happen with her in her life. She she told her that she will she will enter at the convent of Saint Joseph, and after that she will go to Po to Carmel. After that she will go to find first a camp in the India. After that, she will come here to die in a Carmel that she, she will build it in her country. And she asked her, told her two things. First, everything happens to her, if it's bad or good, to take it from the hands of God. And the second, that she will be satisfied for everything. Don't ask more. And here, Maryam, she asked more for the soup, but the Holy Mother, she told her, I ask you, don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> After that, she, she left, she, she took her to a father to confess, and she left her. So Maryam started to work as a servant in the houses. Always she, she chose the very poor family, and she helped them. And she started to travel from Jerusalem to uh, Lebanon, uh, to uh, Egypt, and she stayed all the, her life like this. Once in Lebanon, she, she has a very hard accident. She fell down from the, from the house, from the top of the house, and she was all broken. So the doctor told them three, day, three days, four days, she will die. So she prayed for the Holy Mother, and she told her, I am the one who must work for the family, not they are serving me. And the Holy Mother appeared in front of all the people, and she healed her. After that, she decided to left and she went to France. From there, she started her life in, with, the, with the daughter of this family. She was uh, studying there. Each day at five o'clock, she went to the, to the church and she stayed until the father opened the church to the mass. Once the fam the, why, the, this lady followed her to know where she's going and after that, she saw her in front of the church. First ecstasy for Maria that we know was there in this, uh, in this church. She stayed four days in ecstasy. No one knows what's happening with her. Uh, it was new for the people, what's, what's happening. 
After that, they, they said it must be in a religious life. It's, it's better for her because she started when she prays to fly. She, has, she started the stigma, but she didn't know that what's this. She saw that is a sickness and she started to hide it from the people. She went to St. Joseph and the mother superior, the, the Holy Mother told her. And after that, she entered to the uh, Carmelite in Po because her life was very extraordinary. So they said in Carmel it's better. And when she entered the Carmel, she was very happy, very, very happy. Even she kissed all the hands of the sisters because they accept her. And after that, she started to live the life of Carmelite in the, in the convent. She chose the life of, there was before two, li two lives in the Carmel. Once in the, for doing the workers, like uh, kitchen, like uh, cleaning, this is, was a, a part of the Carmel. And the other was to pray all the day. Now we don't have this, these things, but this is, was before. For that we saw Mariam in white veil and in black. When she traveled, she had, she had the black, but normally she is always, always with the white veil. And uh, she started in Po, and that, there she received the, the arrow of love in her heart. And we will see the heart in the museum there, the picture of the heart. Uh, he, she had it in her, in her heart. And when she had all this love for God, this heart was a cooling blood. And when they put the thing the tissue here, you will see there there was a, there is a cross and oh Jesus my soul. After uh, after Paul, they started to think to to speak about first Carmen in India, and she went there. Six sisters. <coughs> it was very hard before the traveling. They arrived only three of them, and she started there. There was very hard for them, uh, but they they made they built the first convent, and now we have more than 75 convent in uh, India. 75? 75. Wow. Uh, this is in the cluster. <coughs> and the apostolic, we have more 120 convent also. After that, she came back to Po, and from that she started to speak about Carmel of Bethlehem. The Holy Spirit, he gave her, her the map how to build this place. She built it like around, like the towel of uh, King David. And she came with 10 sisters and she built, she, she bought all this land. And this is the miracle because here in Bethlehem we have a lot of problems of the, to buy land, it's not easy. When she asked them, they, they told her, you need three years to, to buy all this land. She told them, no, Jesus want this convent and he will, will finish it quickly. And three weeks, they were they buy, bought all this place. It was until the outside, not outside. And we speak about the double of this place, more than 100 donum. So she 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 bought it and she started to build the monastery. The miracle of this monastery that she built it in eight months, and this is it's incredible because. To clean only one of these walls, we, we took three months. So because she knew that she's going to die, she wants to do everything for the sister, because she's the only one to speak Arabic, and all the sister French, so she wants to, to make all these things quickly. At the, she finished the, the monastery, and uh, after that, she, she, she was walking in the, with the gardens, with the workers, she fell down, and her arms was broke three, three part. And three days she has got, because she has diabetes, she, she has quickly the, the gargarin and she died three days. It was the very hard three days in her life. Her life all was not <laughs> any suffering, but this is, was the three, the very suffer three, three days. After that, she died. The Carmel of Po, she asked for her heart because there has happened the yes, transfiguration, okay. yes. They opened and they took the, the heart to, uh, to Carmel Po, and they put, they put her in the surkey, sur surkey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she, she, was, she was opening her hand like this. So the mother superior, she asked her to close her hand 
three times. Every time they close it, it's open. It. And after that, she, the mother superior, by, by the obeisance, she asked her, she closed her hands. We are here in front of a scent that is very simple, very, very simple. And when we are very simple, we have everything. Because you know, the people always ask me, the groups, what's the miracles that Maryam makes? I told him she didn't make any miracle, only one miracle she made. How? I said, because God is making the miracles, not the saints. The saints, okay, we pray for them, but God is making this. The only miracle that Maryam has made is that she empty her ego inside and she give the place all for the Holy Spirit. And this is what we need to do these days, to, to go back to the Holy Spirit, that he can... We say full inside. Yeah, French will say yeah. one plea that he will full up inside us with everything. God's Jesus, <clears throat> and the, this is what Maryam really had made it from her childhood when she gave asked her to give him her heart. She gave him really because we can give Jesus everything: money, uh, uh, buildings, any uh, were, anything we can give them to Jesus. But this is coming from him because he's giving us the money, he's giving us the health. The only thing that God don't have is our heart. And when this, we decide to give him our heart, he gave, him, he gave us everything in this world. And even in heaven also. So this is, this is what Maryam really gave to God, her heart, and he make her a great sense. Here we, we have, uh, usually we have our, this message to the people that when she was in ecstasy, the, uh, she asked Jesus, how can I love you more and how can I serve you more? Mm -hmm. He told her, when you love your brother more, I know that you love me. And when you serve him, you will serve me more. So this is, this is, the, angel, this is the, the Bible. This is what Jesus come to tell us. To love him and serve him like what he like he's done at the cross until that and this is what Maryam really 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 done we'll come and uh, I hope you will, uh, you will uh, enjoy your uh, prayer with her and with this scapular we are happy that you are here and my little also is here and take your time thank you so thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aunque 